Okay, we are live. Uh, it's interesting, you got your feet here. It's kind of like Yacht Club Games' influence says. It's kind of like Shovel Knight. For those who don't know, this is uh, Cyber Shadow. Um, Mechanical Head Games is that the name of the developer, I believe. Uh, but, um, yeah, Yacht Club Games published this game, sort of um, helps out. So, as you can see, on the save file I'm doing, I'm on Chapter 8. 57% total completion, uh, but um, I think there's 11 or 12 chapters in this overall. But I'm going to do a new save just for this stream. I want to get, like, the first couple of hours of footage for to, so I can do my review. Um, hopefully, I will do my review after I've beaten the game. So yeah, so while um, yeah, Shovel Knight was a throwback to those 8-bit platformers and stuff, uh, this is a throwback to um, Ninja Gaiden amongst other things. Um, and hence why I'm guessing, uh, hence going to Yacht Club Games for help with this game is uh, the ones to go for if this is the type of game you're going for. So definitely, I'm, I've been playing this for a lot of the day. I stayed up until midnight last night um, wanting to... Yeah, I've been staying up till midnight last night waiting for this to appear on the eShop. And then I played it for, played it for about an hour last night before I went to sleep. Thought I better get sleep. And I've been playing it a lot of the day. I mean, as you saw on my save file earlier, um, I was uh, four and a half hours I've been playing it for today. So, um, yeah. So, hello, George, and hello, Charlie. Yes, how are you? Um, so, yeah, so Cyber Shadow. It's a new game come out. Um, back to Ninja Guide and it's sort of um it is linear it's a linear platformer but there's a sort of very metroidvania light I would say because you gain new power-ups as you go along and there are areas because it follows sort of like a linear path the levels that you get from A to B but you do eventually get these warps that will let you warp you back to the beginning of a previous level and so it's one like one. They're done into chapters, the levels, but they're um. Oh yeah, not bad progress for four and a half hours, I suppose. But a lot of that four and a half hours was just dying. Over okay, so as you can see, it's chapter one. So that's just sort of suppose a tutorial bit, I suppose. But so chapter one is just this line here, that's drawn out. Um, and each time you get to the end of the level, it tells you where chapter two is, and you sort of go all over the map, really. But there will be sort of secrets, sort of areas, sort of health and power-ups that are, um, that are, so I'm trying to climb the wall, you can't, you, you get the ability to climb up walls later, but I've been playing it with, I've got, I think I've got almost all of the power-ups unlocked anyway. Um, so I'll sort of explain this game as I'm playing it, so the reason why I wanted to, um, played the game before I streamed it was just so I knew what I was doing. It's, there's not a whole lot to see. There's only two buttons to this game. Jump and attack. And um, yeah, considering the Switch Pro controller I've got here has a lot of buttons on it. It's a shame that I can't actually like... Cause, like when you get like shurikens like you have to hold up and press the sword button uh, to do that. And it's like well you've got X and A that aren't used. Why couldn't you just map it to one of them? Why isn't there an option to do that? And like the shoulder buttons didn't. Um... Yeah, um, he didn't give me a lot of info to start. But I think he does give you more. But because I I played this already, I, I was just skipping everything. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess about with the cutscenes too much here. Um, so. Yeah, so I apologise for that, I just want to show off as much game. Again, I, I want to do a review of this game, and this is me basically getting the footage. So, um, I'll get as far as I can anyway. Hopefully, there, there's my robot pal there. Um, but really, it's just, the controls just jump, jump and attack. That's all you need to know at the minute. There are li other little things I'll explain on the way. So, on the top left, you've got HP and SP. HP is obviously your health. And SP is um, sort of like your abilities, your energy for doing abilities. I've got. So as you can see, next to HP, I just got this power up that has that sort of light blue boomerang. That's this long sword attack I've got here. Now next to that long sword, next to the boomerang symbol on the top left, there's these three yellow shapes. Uh, that basically tells you sort of like the health bar for this power up. So 
if I take three hits, I will lose this upgrade to my sword. So that's how there's plenty, there's like, I think I've seen five or six of these um, sort of powered up normal moves uh, throughout the game. So these are checkpoints here, if I die I just go back here. And enemies will respawn, but if um, if there was a boss fight now, just after that checkpoint, then, it then the game carried on and I died, I would spawn like at that checkpoint before the boss, but the boss will still be defeated. So um, so that's a really good good thing. I don't have to redo any bosses when like, once once we've beaten them, you've beaten them. So yeah, so it's very it's very very ninja ninja Gaiden-y at the minute. Yeah, it's a very good system. It's a, it's the kind of thing. It's the sort of thing where, um, you know, it's sort of it's presented like something you would have seen in a eight bit um, game back in the NES days. But it's um, so what that is. I've just got uh, if I collect three of those, like fill up that circle, then um, I get an extra uh, notch on my health bar. But you do get some that instantly give you a health bar. I think they're after, and you get ones that can increase your um, weapon meter as well. Um, so yeah, so these these are uh, coins I'm getting at the minute. I've got 48 so far. I'll, I'll explain them in a bit. I'm I'm just so glad I've played this game just so I, so I know exactly what's going on. It's like trying to exp obviously I'm explaining everything to you now, but it saves a lot of time so I'm not stopping to work everything out. Um, as I play, so that's, that'll give me a lot of health back. Are there any collectibles? Yes, there are, uh, but in a sort of Metroidvania-y way, the collectibles are like the sort of abilities you learn, they're sort of storage, you have to get them to progress, but the collectibles are just like extra health and um, weapon, uh, you know, just increase your meters. There's not, not nothing in the way of um, you know, collect this amount of gold things in this level and come back to get them late, you know, it's nothing like that. There's, there aren't any collectibles for the sake of being collectibles, they all play a part in helping you out. So, this is the first boss. Now, um, I've just failed it, but no, no, it might be that. Isn't it? So, the boss is this bit here, it's called the Smasher. One of the feats, so if I look here, one of the feats is um, oh, reach Smasher without killing enemies. I failed that one. Defeat Smasher without destroying the wall turrets. So I'm assuming that's those things above him there. Now I did. I, I'm hoping it wasn't that red thing that I destroyed already. But I, I, I don't know. But we'll see. I mean, this boss is seeming very, very easy compared to ones that I've done later on in the game. It's called Smasher because that smashes. I really hope that red thing that I destroyed wasn't the wall turret. Just hoping it's that thing about so three more hits on him, one more hit on me, and that's it done. Did that count as? I don't think that counts as getting the achievement. So that's where you're seeing um, Yacht Club Games' influences here. Uh, they're calling them feats, just like in Shovel Knight. And this is my first uh, power up. Yeah, they, they, it looks like they were. So what I just got was uh, Shuriken, I believe. Oh no, wait. But what was that I just got? Um, I don't know. Okay, so this thing here, I can't destroy it. But I think it's in chapter 7 or 8. I'm on chapter 8 now. You get the ability to get a charged up sword slash that does destroy them. So that's an example of something that I can come back to uh, later on. Walk back to this level to do that. And there's probably like a health power up there. Yeah, I discovered I discovered that earlier, and um, was quite happy with that. I'm pretty sure I went there. I'm pretty sure I went through here earlier. But I know you can't destroy them till later. Uh, there is one later on where I jump up, and on the left there's a secret place, which I'll show off later. But but obviously when you get to bits where you, there's like a power up that you need to continue like double jump and things like that and the wall climbing that it'll be impo it's impossible to progress without it so it's a way to make sure that you do get it you don't just go on and forget about it and the levels are quite clever in the fact that after you get a new ability 
like the enemies and traps afterwards do um, do cater for that new ability. Like you get the ability to run up walls, and then that that is needed in the next in the next bit. Like it's it's um, obviously you're going to need it a lot throughout the rest of the game, but it's very um, what's the word prominent. Okay, so um, so I think I've done a good job explaining <laughs> how most of this game works, but there's a few things that I'm waiting until I encounter them before I. So these red turrets, they do come back until you know that's it's properly destroyed now. These projectiles are annoying me because oh, this is the bit where you can go off to the left to destroy something. And that there, um, so this is a little optional room. Okay, I remember this. I was going back, forwards. That's it. Oh, I just jumped on the spikes. So yeah, I worked out his pattern earlier. So you go, um, so we do. You go that way to avoid the blue, and then this way to go under the the bullets. So avoid the blue, run that way to avoid the bullets, jump jump on the spikes for instant death. And like a lot of sort of boss patterns in this this is more of a mini boss I'd say but so yeah so this is a permanent health upgrade I think. Or is it a wheel one? It's a wheel one, okay, fair enough. Um but there are ones that just give you a straight up there. Did you turn to electricity when you died? Probably, you know, I'm a cyber, cyber ninja, aren't I? Cyber shadow. So you see that red is still on the wall turret there, that means it's going to come back, but now that the red's not there, it means I defeated it properly. That knocked me down. So another thing is, I died, I've gone back to the checkpoint, but if I go here, um, that power up, I've still got it. So I don't have to defeat that thing again. I'm just going to ignore that now. But yeah, th this game is difficult. It is brutal. So I knew the platform was coming up. I wasn't just jumping off the pit then. I was just trying to see see how much of this game I remember as well. I remember that first boss, but only when I saw him again. I was like, oh yeah, I remember that. I remember I remember the bosses coming up. But I have no objections to how far I'm gonna show in the stream, but I don't think I in the review I would show anything after chapter four. And maybe it depends depends how far I get. Is it just spikes that are insta death? I think so. So this thing here, I think, plays a part if I remember rightly. So yeah. This is story stuff. <coughs> like he's like a robot ninja. There's a lot of um, strange things in this. So that's our little robot buddy. What does he do? But my favourite thing about this robot buddy is that you can just you can attack him all you want. Oh, I just killed him. I, I didn't know you could kill him. <laughs> God, I hope he comes back. Okay, this is a boss fight now. So I'm just gonna. This is gonna seem really easy compared to what I've been doing. So he's got two health bars, and um, as you can see, I've just done the first health bar nearly. I'm just kind of brute force, but you can't brute force later enemies. I found out the hard way. He looks like Radioactive Man this time, doesn't he? <laughs> ok, 
okay, I need to sort of remember his pattern here. I, I did I did learn his pattern here, so you jump, 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 he does the three, then he charges, then you jump over like that. There we go. <laughs> A win without honour, hardly a victory. Yeah. <laughs> okay, lovely. Okay, so these things here are where you get your um that's a that's one of the clan. I did learn the pattern pretty well earlier, but I was that you saw me then, I was just brute forcing it. So he gives me it's a shuriken, the first one, which is basically a projectile. So you just hold up and press attack. Again, it's a shame that you can't map these to another button because it would have looked felt. I know they're going for the aesthetic. Well, you could play this on the, the MNES controller. So this here is. This is where you can see where all of the missions are. Chapter final, but the one I can, the number I can find before final is, um, I think it's just chapter 10. So it's, there's 11 chapters overall, which I think I guessed that earlier. But now, um, chapter 2 is where I am now, about to start. But I can go back to chapter 1 if I want. And now these things have raised up. So now I can go up here, which I couldn't before. That's when I said earlier that. About the wall climbing. Now this is a new area. It looks like the area I just did with the rising platforms, but it is. I, I thought it was the area I just did. Now I remember coming this way before. So if I do that, and then I fall off. That's yeah. So I'm going to try that again. Just because there was. I think it was a an ammo increase this way. And I'll show you like not just that, but if I do that again. I was a bit hasty there. Then just show off the shuriken because there's that switch on the top. Yeah, 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 go back and get the secrets. That's where the sort of Metroidvania aspect of it comes in. So if I jump and shoot a shuriken, I hit that switch, which lowers that other platform so I can get across that next bit. So again, like say, you get the shuriken. I couldn't have done this without the shuriken. So it was a bit, unless I did a brave jump to do it. But it's easier with the shuriken. And this bit, you do need the shuriken through, so you've got to shoot it through there. And there we go, and that's given me... So if you watch my... I've got six now notches on that SP meter. So... Okay, so now I'm going to go back to chapter two. Let's do this. So it took me less than 20 minutes to get there, and that was a lot of me stopping and explaining the game. So here's the route I'm going for chapter 2, so I'm going to go all the way to the right, then up, then left, then up, then right. Sounds interesting. Could have just gone a bit diagonal, but can't have everything. So, like I said, I've got the shuriken. Straight away, the game presents you with ways that you need to use it to progress. So here, just shoot the shuriken, over you go. So it's not just on both meters now, yes, that's right getting stronger. Um, I have more notches than that on the meters on my other file. Now I remember this bit, I, I died a fair few times on this bit earlier, but hopefully I won't this time because I, I know how to play the game a bit better now, but that thing just knocked me right into a one hit death. So no, it's not just spikes that kill you instantly, although maybe we can count that as spikes. Who knows? These things sometimes die in one hit. I think I've got to hit that thing on their back and then they explode, yeah. Okay, and another thing I've also learned is, because I tend to be a bit, um, what's the word, conservative with my ammo in games and to the point where I, I never actually use it. And it's like, what's the point? So I'm like, um, so go this way, there's another like ammo thing there. Oh yeah, so what I need to do here is wait for another one to drop, hit that, that gets me across there. And look, another um, SP and it fills up my ammo as well. 
So yeah, so I've been I've been learning to actually use it. It's, it's better to use it, have less ammo than than die. So oh yeah, these are where the little baby bugs come out of. It's only really in boss fights where ammo. The game is quite generous at giving you ammo. I found. Um, so it's really only really on boss fights that ammo becomes a problem. But even then, on some boss fights, they do lose. I've got the I've got the sword upgrade again now. Again, so I've got it for three hits, or unless I get another upgrade. But the upgrades don't come all the time. But yeah, I, I got. You know, I only died once on that bit. I died a lot more times on it earlier. So maybe I am just better at the game than I was earlier. I I'd, I'd hope so after like four extra hours playing. It is infinite lives, yeah. You just go back to the checkpoint. Uh, speaking of which, here's a checkpoint here now. I believe I'm coming up to a bit that I really hated earlier. Uh, but hopefully I'll be good at it this time. It oh no, not yet, not yet, not yet. There's like this um, lift bit where you're going upwards. And oh my god, these bits, see where I am there, that circular bit, that look, they look like eyes looking at me. I didn't like that very much. It's kind of freaky, it's like loads of eyes. And because it's got like the rectangle they're in, it's like a, from a ninja mask. So yeah, it's infinite lives and it's an auto save as well. So I could just exit my file now, turn the switch off and... Um, then it's, um, yeah, I'll just, when I turn it back on, it'll be at that last checkpoint. I hope so. It's at the, I hope it's the checkpoints that say that, not the beginning of chapters, actually. Okay, so now that's operating. That means this big laser is operating. Which means I've got to now jump down here, lest I get pulverised. So now these blocks are getting destroyed, so I can progress. Yeah, the eyes are glowing now, look. But the good thing is, the enemies get killed by the laser as well. Yeah, <laughs> see that? So, through here, then we still got the laser coming, I think. Anything up here? Now, I know there's a checkpoint just before the bit I didn't like. Wait for the next block. Okay, nothing up here, no. Okay. Oh good, their their bullets hit the wall, okay. Yeah, it's just hitting them on that backpack, whatever that is. That is not a door. I, I kept trying to go in that earlier. It's the mouth of those eyes, I reckon. Oh, the baby's got hit by the laser. Okay, so hit that. That opens up my path. I believe this is a bonus this way. Oh, it's just big. It fills up the health. Okay, it's only full health. Don't worry. So this purple pink thing on the wall in front of me there—that's a sort of like a bug nest, I suppose you'd call it. I'll show you, like, just two babies come out of it. I killed one of them on the same hit. I've still got my um, powered up sword, I've just noticed. I've made that last a long time. Cool. That's a saying Let's get a kill him from there. Oh, look, it's little beepy boot. Can't remember his name. I'm not going to call him beepy boot. game is called Cyber Shadow. Um, yes, it's called Cyber Shadow. I've just confirmed it. <laughs> um, I actually had to remind myself then. So I keep I keep on thinking of it as Cyber Ninja in my head because it's a ninja that's a bit cybernetic. Okay, so here, these are what you'll get as your main checkpoints now. Uh, so the coins I've been collecting 
Uh, so if I was to activate the auto repair, that would give me full health. Spirit recovery, I will spend 20 to get that. And the blade extension, that's perhaps So if they appear to fill up my health there, so I've got full thing. But if I was to stand on this again, this will forever give me those two power-ups. I don't need health yet, so I'm not going to spend money on that. Am I Mr. Cyber Shadow? Um, maybe. I don't, don't actually remember what his name is. Okay, so, um... Oh. So, I've got to here use the shurikens. So when the blocks drop... I can use them as a platform to hit him. And if I was far away, if I destroy these, then I can use the shurikens to hit him. So that's sort of the idea of kind of like um, a bit zelda in that way. Your newest weapon is used to kill the boss of that dungeon. Yeah, I'm getting through this game a lot quicker than I did earlier, which you should hope that I would, wouldn't you? So how many hits that oh watch out for the lasers just do it now there we go second boss done and that what's that giving me that's giving me an extra health point is it i think i've got seven now oh wait you see how that's cracked that wall bit that means i can destroy it and there's money in there Oh. So now if I am... Um, because there wasn't a checkpoint after that boss, there was one just before. If I died now, then I would go back to that checkpoint. But when I go through the boss room, the boss... Oh, I can show you now, actually. So I'm before that boss room, where I was. But I go through here and the, the boss is still dead. I don't have to fight the boss again. I really like that. I'm gonna get some more money, I think. And sometimes it's not. Sometimes, like if you destroy a wall and there's health in there, there might be ammo in it. The next time you look in there, if you die, it might be money. You know, it's not always exactly the same what's in the walls and stuff. I don't know how to get that one over there. Yeah, I, I took that death on purpose. I thought it was it was only um sporting. Yeah, I, I, I knew that thing was dis disappearing. I thought I'd just confirm it again. That, um, yeah, even after two deaths, you know, the boss is still gone. So uh, that was me again, just demonstrating on purpose. Um, yeah, I'm just going to... Ah. Every time I hit that thing, the bugs come out of me, so I'm going to ignore that. Yeah, I can't wait till I get more power-ups. It's so weird playing this without knowing what's coming up later. I mean, like, there's been, I was going to say, there's a, like a dash ability which lets you dash, but it's just, I'm, I'm tap, double tap. Okay, this is the, oh, it's annoying. This is the bit that I'm getting up to, the bit that I died a lot at earlier, but there is a more recent checkpoint for it later on. Um, so that'll be alright. Um, I've got my power sword, so I'm not going to hit that thing this time, because that's just going to shoot bugs at me. I've already got these ones, let me. Cool. Oh no. How am I doing for health? My health's not very good, is it? Um, so, okay, shoot that. Uh, just, I know that's going to make them come out, but I just... I can't kill... Oh, there we go. I can get past now. Oh. Oh, actually, t walking into them activates them. Okay, let's do that then. Okay, a little health power-up would be good, because I'm dying a fair few times here. So, so I've destroyed that, so I won't shoot things at me now. Okay, door. Checkpoint, yay! So now, um, automatic repair is already online. I'm going to get a new weapon there. And I'll, I'll spend money on them, so I might die a fair few times this next bit. But there's a secret here, so let's see what's over here. Because so I can't remember everything that I saw earlier. There was a lot to take in. Oh, 
Oh, can't quite get that way out. Okay, so not that. Okay, so they're infinite because they each give me a special item. Oh yeah, there's a thing there, look. So again, making use of the shuriken. Okay, so I'm going to have to shoot that. Let's me safely hit that. And it's a... Uh, yeah, worth it. I'd say that's worth it. Hit that and then that track takes me all the way down. I remember it doing that. So I can just go... Not that way. Check there's no spikes. Oh, I almost hit that spike at the top. So now I'm back here. That's going to give me my health. I've got my full blade. Now, this, I think, is the bit I was dreading. Yes, this bit. I hated this bit earlier. But hopefully I'm a bit better at the game now. So I want to avoid those pink orbs on the wall because that's what will make the thing. So you've got these lasers coming at you. So I can destroy them. Oh, look at the bugs coming at me as well now. If I just do that, then at least it's on my terms that they attack me. Cool, destroy that one. So those blocks do come in handy at um, deterring the lasers. Cool. Oh, oh, I didn't quite make it. And again, the reason why I didn't like it so much is because it's slow. So, so I'm going to try and just take these out early now. It's just hard, there's a lot going on. It's... I mean, the blocks are handy, so I'm going to try not to destroy them. Yeah, but say the blocks can also stop me from getting out of the way of the spikes as well. Oh, that took out one of those lasers. Oh, look, there's a... Like a big health power up there as well, and Sandy. So at least I won't get hit by that laser. Let's just walk. I'm not going to jump on that bit. Ah. Okay, I got, I, I got past it this time. My health's doing alright. I jumped over that laser there. Oh. Okay, I think, I, I don't know if it counts if the spikes hit me side on like that, but I made it to the top. That was, what, my third try? That was my third try. That I, I died at least ten times on that earlier. Automatic repairs already online. There's no option to fill up my ammo here, sadly enough. But, oh well. It's a checkpoint. I don't have to do that lift bit ever again now, unless I replay the game again. I, I can see myself replaying. I, I'm, I'm honestly enjoying this game more the second time over because yeah, I know what I'm doing this time. Yeah, you've got to have a lift level though in these sorts of games. I think I like side scrolling beat em ups like to have a lift level now and then, didn't they? Oh, money. Oh no. Good, good, good. Okay, now here I've got to have a block there so I can get up there. Also, with these sorts of platforms, you can jump down them as well. Now, I think I've pretty much explained how the entire game works. Oh, I, I should have not jumped. I think that was the problem there. Oh, but I've lost my Mega Sword now. And you do get a parry attack later, so projectiles like that you can knock back at them. Um, a bit rude. Oh, that's where I got the Mega Sword from. I did wonder. I was like, how did I still have it when my health was so low? Yeah, out like an RKO. Came out of nowhere. Okay, I'm gonna just not attack the baby eggs. The baby eggs. Okay, so I know that's there now. It's that thing on the wall. Oh. We have to 
kill that just so I have to jump again on it. I don't have any more shurikens. Oh no, I do. Why didn't it work that time? At least I destroyed it. Okay, something killed me. Try this again. So I know where the sword power up is now. Closer. Oh, okay. I was trying to see if you hit them from behind, they die instantly. Worth it. Okay, I took three hits so far. Ah, oh, spits on the baby eggs. So I can't get out there to do that. No, I was hoping to kill it before it landed. Oh, if you think this is hard, you wait till later. I will try my best to not say any naughty words as I play. Oh my god, is that shiny thing below? I thought that was eyes opening then. Man, if, if only I could have an ammo refill here, then, um, yeah, then I can just sh throw shurikens at those things later on. But I only took one hit this time, I took three last time. But I need to remember I could destroy that, because I think where it was shooting a little bit of fire out after I destroyed it, that's what killed me before. Oh no, I think that's instant death if I landed down there. I don't know why I did that. Oh, I thought I could get uh, the one hit kill on him. There, did it. Okay, I know this has to be done in two shots. Yeah, it's sort of a, sort of a, um, yeah, there's a lot of hazards at once, isn't it? Bugs, mysterious gas holes, dude with backpack or laser on the wall. It's like, this is old school NES difficulty. This is Castlevania stuff going on here. Ninja Gaiden stuff going on here. But the important thing is, and I say this about games like Ninja Gaiden and um, yeah, Mega Man and things like that, yeah, they, they seem very difficult, but every time you retry, the enemies are all in exactly the same place. So it's a case... You, so you, you'll only be thrown off guard once, basically. It's just a case of learning the layout, trying again, and the fact that it's infinite tries you get from the same checkpoints. I mean, even on, like, Ninja Gaiden and Castlevania, you had infinite lives, but... Um, well, so you had infinite continues. But if you die, if you ran out of life, you had to go back to the beginning of a certain chapter or um, world. Oh, Jesus! Uh, that one. Oh no! Ah. I missed time that completely. I was focusing too much on that thing on the left. Where was the last? Oh no, I've got to do that bit again. Oh no. I haven't even got a shuriken this time. Oh no, I'm taking several hits. Oh yeah, it's um, very generous. I mean, it's, a, it's very much, I'd say, it's more like respecting the player's time, really. But these sorts of things, it's the sort of thing, like little quality of life improvements, it's sort of things that people didn't really know about back then. And 
I would say, uh, on the whole, this is a much uh, longer game than like Ninja Gaiden and Castlevania. They're only like six levels each or something like that. I mean, Castlevania was 18 stages, but it was, it was really six levels each split into three smaller stages. Um, so, you know, they weren't very long games. So I think if if like Ninja Gaiden or Castlevania were, had infinite tries from certain checkpoints, then you'd beat them a lot quicker. But this game, this game is a lot bigger than those, so you know it's, it's sort of balanced that way. And a lot, a lot of it is. I've said this before on some of my videos. I am, as a gamer, must, as a gamer, I'm very reckless. I tend, I don't, you know, so you notice then, I just did all that without taking a hit, those first few guards, because I was standing back and waiting patiently, whereas before I was just going all guns, yeah, that looked like a secret, that's why I went for it then. I say I waited for that bug to come to me that time, instead of jumping and doing it, so I was able to get it before it hit the ground. Stand back, hit them when I can, see, now they're gone. Ah, oh, but I this time that. Cool. So I'm back here now with uh, five hit points left. Okay. So, oh, got to wait for you to come near, haven't I? Look at me learning. The problem was, this is all stuff that I learned earlier that I've forgotten already. Speed, I, mean, I can't wait to see speed runs of this game. They're going to be insane. They're just going to run through this, no questions asked. At what point did I get? Was it here I got up to before? Oh no, it was this bit, wasn't it? Yes. The thing is, I did this bit first try earlier. Like, I didn't die on it at all, but I'll... What I'll do is i hit that laser on the left. There you go. One more jump should do it. So what I've got here, I can bring back them, get a new one. I haven't got enough money for that. That's all right, it's not needed. There's a dead body there. Hope you had time to read all that. I didn't read it. Oh yeah, I've got that now. Hey, more money. I won't purchase the things. It's only for that particular... Oh, look, maybe maybe I should have. Oh, yes, I remember you. I learnt your moves earlier. So when you're close, he does that. Um, yes, yeah, he does the, the... His right arm does the high one, which you just stand still for. And then the le left arm does the um, low one, which um, you jump for. I'm too close to him and caught in the corner. I've got no chance there. Okay. I still won't get the power up sword. So hit a few hits in. See, if I had that longer sword, that would have worked. Uh oh. This helps gonna go first. Ah, oh, she's the front to the right there. I sort of gave up that time. Okay. Jump for there we are. Jump for that one. Okay. Jump away from him before he does his slam. There we go. Okay, so next phase now. He's on three, but four points left now. Ah, 
I found when they get um to a, like there's some bosses where they will get smaller and they'll be like for the very last bit of the boss fight there's like a different phase that doesn't last long and they are easier but the fact that it's different to what you just learned throws you off guard. Now do your lasers. Okay, jump again. Do that. Now you're going to do that again. Okay. I think I've just seen his tail jumping. It's, imagine, imagine if I had lives for this. My word. So I got distracted then by my watch. It was telling me my stress levels are high. Uh, I wonder why. <laughs> I must be really getting into this. So, okay, so when he st his legs steam, he jumps. Oh, I thought he's going to jump again. That's the jump, okay. Okay, he's on his second health bar. I've oh, still got the shell again. Jump. Ah, oh, jump too early. Jump on there. Okay, he's on that. Oh, he was dead. Oh, he does that little thing afterwards, doesn't he? Okay, I'm gonna stand on there. See that, yeah. Okay, I'm alright for health at the minute. Maybe I should save my shurikens for this phase. Oh no, no need, no need, I did it. I did it everyone. Oh no, now he's on another phase. That's that's the one I was thinking of. And then, then when you beat him, the little robot thing flies up the wall. Can I destroy it? I don't think I could. I'm wondering if that comes back into play later. So you get one of these chambers, which means a new power up. And this time it's a, the, probably the least useful power up in the game I found. It's sort of like this um, shooty fireballs up in the air sort of thing. I don't really use it all that often. Oh, a little beepy boop. Do you have a name? Do I have a name? Time to fill me in on everything, okay. When you get to Mecha City, you'll notice things have changed, and not for the better. Let me bring you up to speed. Exposition, everyone. Dr. Progan. Kind of looks like Dr. Wiley. He built a machine capable of self-sustained autonomous function. Has he never has he never seen Terminator? My god. There's film franchises about why this is a bad idea. He served as lab oh labourers, I read as Labradors. <laughs> it's kinda of like in Mega Man, the um the robot masters were designed like in the original to do jobs for humans, but then Dr. Wily corrupted them. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to read the whole story. If you want to know it, you can just re-watch that and pause every frame. Let's get to the game. So, we're on to chapter 3 now. So that's what chapter 3 looks like. Um, just automatic repair. So now we've got our warp, we can go back to you know, those other bits, if you so wish. Um, what does that come into play, I wonder? I wonder if there's like little shortcuts you can get later on, but I don't know. An already warp. Uh, these, those things follow you from above. I think that's where they want to demonstrate to you the new abilities. So it's basically that, that's what the new ability is. Okay, this way. Ok, 
Okay, I do remember this bit. I did die a few times here. Okay, so the acid is um, instant kill as well as the... So I suppose they've put these in as an example as to what that upward slice thing is. All, all good for... I don't really use it because you, know, you can outrun those things quite easily, so... Like that. Getting it. Rivers of Acid, it looks like it. Oh yeah, I got that shuriken for that, no. I'm glad that thing was one hit kill. Oh yeah, money, yeah. I've actually run out of money on my other file at one point and couldn't buy the power up, so yes, it is worth... I just shoot the shuriken, why am I waiting to get close to it? Oh yeah, these things, yes, I remember them. I should hope I remember them, it was only earlier today. <laughs> Ah, the acid stayed. Oh, look, a checkpoint. Um, online. Oh, and you. Oh, this this thing I absolutely love. Look, it it goes round you, killing people. But if you jump, you can sort of angle it to go like that, and you can hit it with your sword as well to shoot it forward. I absolutely loved this one. It's like so I can get them above me if I do that right, get momentum on it. I've already lost the hit point on it, but I've already purchased it, so it will reappear if I go back on that checkpoint machine. So it's lost its, it's lost its um, colour now. It's all just a blade. Yeah, I think I think I used this one on a boss coming up. I'm a bit wary here. Oh, it's a. Uh, So that looks like a health power up, so I've completed the Triforce. I have an extra bit of health. Oh, I can't get up there, oh well. Ooh, more health. Oh no, I've lost it. Okay, so what I do here is I'm, I then get on that and that creates a shortcut from that bit earlier. So I start check my zone so I can get the, the spiny who... Um, Charlie, Charlie's referring to this thing as Trevor, is it? Which Trevor are you talking about? Just this thing, I just this is one of my favourite power ups in gaming. It's just so much fun to use. Mr. Cyber Shadow for Smash and bring this with you. I mean, has there ever does anyone know of a weapon in a game that's like this? I've not seen anything like this before. New checkpoints. The checkpoints are being a bit more generous now. Maybe it's because they're easier sections. Okay, there was a boss inside one of these trains. Like with a health bar and everything. I don't think that was... Was that yet? No, no, that was much later on, I think. 
Oh yeah, that's much later on the train one. I think anyway. I don't think it was this early. I'm in the subway, aren't I? But then the map system does sort of go back and forth on itself, so. Oh no, I got another power up and it's worse. It's the bigger sword. Yeah, that was nothing. Oh, I just wasted those, didn't I? Who are the posters for, Team Bot? I didn't see any posters. I imagine an odd be for Team Bot since I am part. So what's down here then? Is this a shortcut? That's a sh another shortcut, look! Ah, it's clever with those. Uh, what can I do now? Actually, I won't. Actually, I will. I'll... It's that one back, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Oh, like a dead body. I think it's like your spirits there reading or something, I don't know. Ooh, hello. Oh no, I'm down to my last hit for this thing. That looked like it would take a lot more hits than just one. Oh, I remember this thing coming from the ceiling. And again, it was only this morning, so I should remember it. It kind of feels like this bit was so, like, weeks ago or something I was playing it. And... I like how the animation was still as if it was throwing something at me. They doubled it up as a smashing to the ground animation. Ah! Cool. <laughs> that robot hasn't figured out how to jump upwards in a straight line. Just look how easy it is to, but it's, again, it's a not not like the simplest thing to use. You've got to actually think about how you're angling it and stuff. So there is a challenge to it as well. It's rewarding to use it right. So that's that's what makes it a, two, a really good power up. It's powerful that, but it's not too that you have to learn how to use it and just not just lose it like that. I need some health. Oh no. Okay, I know they take more than one hit now. Whoa. Checkpoint. Yay. Um, I've got my health recovery. I, I don't want to spend coins yet. I'll see what's coming up. Okay, now this isn't a boss boss. It kind of reminds me of the Technodrome battle in Turtles on the NES.
in the fact that it's got all these little weapons that you um, can destroy one by one. too bad and that's given me an extra bit of health as well oh we got more so i didn't need to buy a, a um spend my money on that but okay so now again i just thought i'd demonstrate that it happens here as well that i died and look, I don't have to defeat this thing again. So there we go. That was just a, a, a very good demonstration. Another thing I find weird is you can't duck in this game. Like, whatever your height is, that's just your height. We're gonna go look down here first. There's a... It's annoying when you get those big health things because um, I just activated the cutscene. Just showing how this ninja died. When um, cool. What it means is it sort of tells me that the next checkpoint is a while away if it's giving me like full health. I'm like, oh. Okay, you blocked that. Oh, it, it gave me that sword. Maybe ducking is a skill you learn later on. Maybe I haven't got to that yet. So I say wall climbing is something you associate with Ninja Gaiden a lot, but you can't. You can do that soon. But I, I can't remember if it's the end of chapter three or four. I think the next one is like a downward thrust, and then like a double jump you get much later on as well. Oh, that's annoying. And that's very Ninja Gaiden there in the fact that um, when you get hit, you jump backwards. So, um, yeah, Ninja Gaiden and Castlevania do that. So if there's a pit if, in a place with pitch, that can become one hit kill. Again, I got hit in the back. Anyway, I'm going to do something, and um, once I'm in a safe spot, I'm going to do something that I didn't think I was going to do. That. I'll pr probably best I get footage of it anyway. So, 
If I pause it there, there's my achievements, obviously. At the bottom, you have a thing called Amiibo. What does that do? I have a Shovel Knight Amiibo. I've not got a webcam on, so I can't show you, but trust me, I have got it. If you don't believe me, um, there we go. I've got Shovel Knight helping me now. So, there we go. That's what the Amiibo does. But I don't know which, I think it's just the um, Shovel Knight, you know, like the, there's a Gold Shovel Knight and there's a King Knight, Plague Knight and uh, Spectre Knight as well. But um, I do own all of them, but Shovel Knight's the only one I've got unboxed. So, it's a strange one to have the only one unboxed because the Shovel Knight Amiibo you can actually use with it still in its box because they made it that way. So the scanner thing's not covered up so that you can still use it but retain the value of it but so I bought it second hand it was already unboxed the shovel knight's not really doing much at the minute is it oh, I remember this you got to kill him so he's got my um, power up there. Are you gonna? Are you gonna do something, Shovel Knight? Oh, okay, fair enough. A lot of health back. That will extend my special meter. Cool. How does Shovel Knight work? Don't really tell me. He's digging. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. Oh, no. Hey, checkpoint. So I'm going to save it. Got old shovels here helping me. Unless you're gonna just stay over there. Don't know how long Shovel Knight's with me for. Is it until I die, or until or is he there forever? Okay, is he still there with me? Ah, that's kind of annoying. Can I turn him off now? I've seen what he does. Oh look, he's killing the person for me. Uh, how do I turn him off? So I'm going to do, I'm going to exit to main menu and just see if that gets rid of him. I don't, I don't, I don't want him the whole time, I just wanted to see what it looked like. So that's, that's, that's where I am on the other one. Um, okay, he's gone now, that's good. And there's two reasons why um, Shovel Knight's in this. Uh, first of all, obviously, Yacht, Yacht Club Games' involvement. And secondly, because it's an indie game and Shovel Knight has to make a cameo in every indie game. What's he? He's in Ukulele. He's in, um, he's in Blaster Master Zero, I think. Um, yeah, he's, in, he's even in Road Redemption as a costume. Would I get that? Oh, this is an awesome one though. It's a shield, so like that. Armless, and it also shoots when it's charged up, you can shoot it. Yeah, this is a really awesome power up. I still prefer the spinny one, but yeah, I really do like this one. Again, they position it very well in the game, like at moments where you're going to really need it. At least I got some health back on my last shield though. I'm 
I'm just going to get out of there. Okay, so this thing here, I remember this. This thing I'm on here, it's red. Can't get down there yet. I'm about to get the next ability. remind myself what this boss is. Oh, I'm, I'm, do I take out what this big laser is? Oh yes you. Okay. I don't think this took me too many tries last time. Although I'm not really providing much in my I think I might have had the weapon on to actually hit him properly. So if I die I will see what that weapon is. If it's a spinny weapon then yeah I can see how I defeated him easily last time. But I don't remember doing too badly on this one before. Oh the bomb's got me. Yeah, it was that one. Yeah, I think I just used this on him. But now, now, now I've purchased that, that it would always be there. So every time I die, I will get this back without having to spend money. That's a great feature. Yeah, I can just do this, look. And look how much health he's lost already. Yeah, I think I just used that weapon last time. <laughs> Look at how much easier that fight was. Using that. So let us some of these chambers again. New ability, and that is like a down thrust, as I said earlier. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's called an airstrike, but it is just basically that. So now, I can get down these bits. Oh health, that's even better. Um, I haven't decided yet whether to show you, demonstrate again, that dying will make me not have to redo the boss again. I'll decide when I, as I attempt this bit, so this is a bit you don't have to do, it's just an extra bonus there. This power-up I've got now makes this harder. <laughs> Especially when that thing doesn't come back up, I expected it to. So you see, I can't even get back up there, look. Oh, this is to my detriment now. Yeah, I'm thinking if I ever do a top 10 power-ups video, then this has to be on there now, doesn't it? Just for how much fun it is. Yeah, I've done my top 10 Mario power-ups uh, on the channel. Shameless plug there. Oh, I don't think I can get down that area. There's nothing essential down there. It's just a power... I think it's hell for... Um, thing. But this isn't my serious file. Um, this is... Um, so that's the warp again. Still up to, yeah. So basically, we're going to chapter 4 here. But then that's chapter 9. So chapter 5 is down there. Then you go off this way. 6, 7, 8. And then that, that's where I am now. So I'm currently making my way over to this one. So that's basically um how it is. What is in there anyway? Ah, can't get it. So 
say he can still do that move without the abilities, but it doesn't count as a um, like to destroy things. Yes, this is my stream file and capture footage for review file. Okay, I remember this bit. Yes, this is where I get the wall climbing. Wow, so soon after the down strike. Maybe it didn't feel like so soon earlier because I spent ages trying to get across that gap that I, the optional bit. Okay, so what it is, you've got to race a monkey up a tower. Uh, if you if you beat the monkey, you get the. How do I get? Him? Oh, I can't remember how to do it. Do I have to talk to certain people? Now oh, maybe I've just got to go try getting up there again. Oh, there we go. There he is. So basically the monkey's there, just got to race him up the tower. Now he does sort of like run off ahead. I think I've found... Oh, it's good that it re... Actually, that's a really good quality of life there, is the fact that the race restarts if you fall down. You don't... It's not like you you can't win. Therefore, you have to wait for the monkey to finish the game. It just restarts. I failed it. Underwater level, um, not quite. I mean, I haven't encountered any underwater swim. Every time there's water, he sort of just swims on the surface. It's a really good feature. So, so the monkey... Restart, okay. Although the monkey does seem to sort of climb up the walls to get ahead of you, he does stop quite a lot, so it isn't too difficult to beat him. But it took me, like, about five attempts earlier before I realised I was actually trying to beat the monkey. Uh, that sounded quite rude. Um, <laughs> well, it must be waterproof since I'm um, robotic, aren't I? I'm going underwater. Ah, oh, I jumped too early. As awesome as I think this power up is, it is a bit distract. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. You meant to do that. You get extra air time. You can bounce off the lanterns, that's it. If I keep forgetting, you can still do it without energy, it's just I can't smash through things. So he keeps climbing up the walls, but he does stop. Then in that door. And I win. And now I get his um, power. Slide on walls. Okay, now this is the power-up I was looking forward to. I love this sort of these sorts of moves. Obviously, in Shovel Knight, I love Spectre Knight's mission because Spectre Knight uses this. So now, oh man, the traversing's a lot more fun now. Still a few more moves later on to get that. I really escalate it, but so that's where I was earlier. So get up here. Cool. Now jump up there. That's one of them. First piece of the Triforce. That's sort of like a Zelda y thing, isn't it? Like, not because not I'm saying Triforce, but like a heart container. Like, you find there's several heart containers. Oh, yeah, those things that I destroyed. Yeah, they're like boats. How do I, where am I meant to go from here? So I seem to be going backwards here. Or is this a new cavern? I don't know. Yeah, I was here earlier. Maybe I've got to go somewhere on the right. I, I remember getting lost here earlier. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm back here. I think I did that completely wrong. So that was where I jumped down, okay. So I'm not meant to go back into this bit. Oh wait, was there, oh, is this a, um... ah, there we go. It's, you're not meant to continue right, you're meant to go up. There we go, look at that. I to go down now, am I? Got one here for you, Charlie. Um, what did Zelda say when Link was unable to open the door? That's it. Oh, about to say I'm going to try to jump up there. I can just do that though. So that's just lit up those beacons, then there's one on the left that opens up a um, bit in the middle, so you see that light's come on. Well, do I just top up my health since I lost a few bars? go. Nothing up there. I think I remember doing that in a few areas earlier. Oh, these things. Yes, I remember them. I should. It was only today I was playing them. <laughs> oh, you don't know. What did Zelda say to Link when he couldn't open the door? She said, Try force. I don't think I topped up my health when I tried this before. Oh, I think I just went all the way down there. Floaty boats, I call them. Oh, and they give you um, the the blue ramo thing, which is very important later on. We got a floating mermaid here. I think it's just a hologram. Uh, blah 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 blah. The story exposition, whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna waste. Oh, look, it's beefy boot. Okay, so I'm not going to spend anything yet. Scout ahead first. Waste my only bit of ammo. Okay, so the, the conveyor belt below, when that... Almost demonstrated it too well. When that thing shooting the electricity down hits it, um, then the whole thing electrifies. And I get hit in. Just gotta make sure you're not standing on that floor when. Oh, 
Look at that, it's a hot container. Man, if I'd gone to that other bit, which I think was either a hot container or an ammo container, I'd have an extra one by now. Boing. Okay, these things are annoying because you can bounce on them when they only go down when they're like things open. But sometimes you're bouncing them too rapidly. Now these, you've got to hit the middle, that stops those things and then you can attack them. Then that's sort of, yeah, you just blow up the whole thing then for fun. Well, maybe it's later on you can do that. Computeroids. Now inside a little computer program here, I've got to destroy something to open up that door above. Here's the thing that needs destroying over there, is it? I died to dead. Oh, I've got to do all that again. Oh no, I don't even have one shuriken to waste. Oh, you're staying out of the way, aren't you? I don't have to go get that hot piece again. Do they take two hits off you? <laughs> okay, I somehow did that without getting hit. That's good. Nope. Then that happens. Whoa! That's nasty. Cool. Oh! Oh, uh, you gotta go, Charlie. Uh, thanks for watching. Anyway, um, I'll probably play another half hour or so. So I'll have it archived for a while this bit. I'm, I'm tidying for games that I stream but then review later on. I tend to unlist those live streams just so it doesn't clog up the channel. And then I'll put a link to the stream in the review so people can still watch the stream if they want. Just click the link that's in the review. It's still accessible. But it's just so when people look at the channel, there's not like a load of live streams there. So they can't actually find the, you know, the proper videos, so to speak, like the edited ones. The ones that take all the time to make. But I still, I still like to leave these up for people to see if they so wish, but... I am considering starting a second channel just to put these live streams on. But I haven't decided on that yet.
did it. And what that does is the door that's above just gets opened. Yeah, there was a door here just now. Is that whole going into the computer's mechanic to disrupt something? Doesn't play a huge role from what I've seen so far. Ah, that was annoying. annoying. Hmm, do I... For the sake of getting through it, I will... There's no point saving money. So this, uh, that's a new weapon I can show off as well. Uh, this basically shoots bullets. You see it's uh, charging. It's fully charged now, which means it does the big bullet. But if it wasn't fully charged, it'd do a small one like that. Already lost a pick, wasn't it? At least I'll get this gun every single time now, won't I? Added it to your wish list. Yeah, this is a really good one. Um, it's a shame. But, um, yeah, if you're gonna wait for a sale, it's a shame because um, there was a pre-order 25% off on this. That's when I, that's, yeah, I was wanting to get this anyway. But when I saw that pre-order discount, I was like having that. But th this will, this will go on sale again. But maybe not anytime soon. But um, yeah, it's. I mean. Yacht Club Games publishing it is gonna. Is that thing. Yeah, the thing's also. I don't have to go in, so that's another thing, like like with the bosses, respecting a time, like major things like that, you don't have to redo. Oh. I was hoping for health in that thing, but then ammo would have been better. But I will get a full review up for. Uh, on the channel uh, when I've beat off, so I'm going to wait till I've beaten the game before I do that. But there are other reviews out from other uh, YouTube channels and review sites and so forth. And it seems to be very, very positive the reception this game's got, um, which is nice to see. I get that. If I had the fire thing, if I had health, so I'd do the fire thing. But... Oh, another checkpoint. No, I don't have to do that bit again. So I'm gonna just again scout ahead, just see if it's worth me spending money on power ups and stuff. Yeah. I don't want to spend my money. It's best to use those power ups when you actually really need them. Okay, now I know there's a um, one of these uh, coming up that you don't want to use. Is that? 
Did I complete a Triforce? I completed the Triforce. There we go. New health power up. There's a bit coming up with one of them things you slam to the ground, but you don't want to slam it into the ground because it opens up those spikes down below you can fall into. Might be that one there. Yeah, there we go. I was just demonstrating. Just demonstrating. It's good. Good footage for an example in the review video. That's why I did that. Oh, I'm doing too well here. Another good thing I can do is now I've lost some health on that first enemy. I can just climb back up here, jump into the checkpoint. I've got full health again now, and that enemy's still dead. It's another another good thing you can do. I suppose I can get some uh, ammo this way. That's, well, I'm a bit bad, I don't need to get that health power up again. I've just used up that ammo bit as well, haven't I? So I know not to destroy that block this time. Again, just demonstrating for the review. Probably won't end up using it, but it's there if I want it. Okay, so you can do is just bounce on them like this. Oh, coming at ya. Okay, is it worth getting that treasure chest, I wonder? Oh, it was a bigger sword, but I might die now, so let's... Hopefully get some health from us. Oh, look at that. That's what we needed. That's too late. I thought I died then, but it was water. Oh no, I'm nearly dead now. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, the checkpoint was all the way up here. Use the Triforce if only we could in this one. But anytime I see three of anything in a game, I have to refer to it as the Triforce. Like getting the th three pieces of the Triforce is uh, what I'm calling the, um, the health power ups, is you get three of them. It's 
the Zelda fan in me. So I get health there. Okay, so try and be more cautious this time. Well, that one. So I can touch this floor now. That, ah! Try and be cautious. I'll jump straight into an enemy. Ah, you. I'm a tricky customer. Pun, yeah, so Charlie is a big Star Wars fan. That's another checkpoint. How is the time now? So I'm aiming to play until about nine o'clock. But when when it gets there, what I'm going to do is leave this file and then load up my other file, just so I can show off some of the later power ups. So I'm not I'm not I'm, sorry, I'm on chapter eight, and this seems to be eleven chapters. So. Yeah, I'm not at the end of the game yet, but um, I, I think I've got, I've got, I basically I've filled out all seven of them. So we've got a, yeah, there's a dash attack and there's a parry move and I can't remember what the other one is. What is that other move? I'm trying to think now. Then after that, there's like an eighth one, which sort of gives a secondary function to all the power-ups, including, and you get a double jump as well. I might not because her, the um, electric bolts follow the whole level there. Okay, that's um. Ah, oh, where we got these uh, bouncy boats, whatever they're called, floaty boats, that's what I call them. Which um, survives me the electricity. Oh no, I just jumped in. Oh, jumped out. Okay, so they're gonna get Zar dead. Water won't get zarded. That's good. Full health. You're zarding the water, so I'm gonna have to destroy you. Ah, one wasn't enough. Two was enough. Okay. No, 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 no. Fell <laughs> right down there. Okay. Cool. Have to plan this. Jump. Oh, that is water. Oh, good. I thought I'd die then. Good. Jumping over here. Oh, okay. Oh, I needed that. I have a feeling it's going to come in handy on this bit. Okay. Oh, the next um, thing is a uh, stronger sword. That's what the fifth one is. Let's 
can destroy those green doors. What have we got? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna buy anything yet. Scout ahead. I will be buying the uh, next thing, this is the dragon boss in the water. But I kind of worked out how to beat him. It's doing that down, there he is. Um, doing the down and B jump. Um, so down and B, down and Y. That shoots up, so you get underneath it when it pops its head up. Ah. Not like that, but it zarded the water. Okay. Play it your way then, eh? Okay, so let's uh let's actually use this this time. I've got full um ammo. There's no point buying the ammo here because the floaty boats they um they like say you destroy them, it gave me a coin then, but it usually gives you ammo. But I'm on full ammo now, so it won't be doing that with it. A good load of platform. Do that and then you can get a few hits in it. I don't think I did it at all then. Okay. But it then flies around. It's got like um Volvogia. I've never know how to pronounce it. In uh Zelda it pops its head up, that's your chance to attack, and it flies around. Dodge it. I had no chance then. So once I've defeated this dragon, I'm going to jump straight ahead to my other file just to show later bits of the game just how difficult it is. Like the bit I'm on, man, I've been trying it quite a few times. And I've been hit by it twice already. Find that thing. I lost three bars of health from it. Get a, that's the other thing, just don't get a greedy with it. it. It didn't shoot fire that time, but sometimes it does. And, um, and you're not dodging that, so. Ah, that floaty boat sank. Floaty boat did not float. You like the layout of it? I'd say, yeah, the overall presentation of this game is fantastic. It really. I'm a fan of like the games like uh, Ninja Gaiden on the NES and Castlevania, that sort of thing. I do like these sorts of games. And it's sort of like the old school difficulty as well. I really enjoy it. It's like as long as it's fair, and it is fair here. Like the fact that you can, you got the checkpoints are frequent enough. Uh, there are a few moments where you're like on the same bit for too long, like they do kind of feel a bit too long, but they're, they're few and far between. For the most part, it's like you just learn, learn from doing, sort like of rote learning to get your way through the levels. Oh good, he, he did the electric so I could stand in front of his mouth. So now I can use this time to fill up my uh, SP. Shot, shot fire that time, okay. Doing the electric. Uh, I've nearly got half his health down. I'm making progress. I don't think I'll do it this time unless I get good luck with the um, attack he does. So. He's doing fire. <laughs> Again, this is that sort of moment where not being able to duck is annoying. I say I don't need to buy the magic. <laughs> okay, okay, I don't know what to call it. It says SP. Is it special powers or something like that? Um, special points. Obviously, we know HP is hit points. I always used to think of it as health points, but it's hit points because it's the number of times you're allowed to be hit. Okay. 
Okay, Mr. Dragon, let's come here so you come a bit closer. Oh, I didn't want you to come from that side, but... I failed this already, I'd say. Yeah, I've got, like, no health left. got me up. Okay. How are we doing? Oh, move. Ah. Oh. Okay, let's get some of these back. I don't think I hit him once then. I jumped towards it. That's silly. I, I did get this nailed down just earlier on. But. Okay. Gotta be patient. Oh. Filled up my shuriken. Getting bad RNG on his attack. I think it's doing that on purpose where it's doing the fire when I'm standing near him and the electric when I'm not standing. I need him to be electric when I'm standing near him so I can be safely underneath to attack. Yeah, it's at fire because I'm right near him and doing the fire. I wonder if it's programmed to do that. Doing the electrics, I'm far away from him. Ah. I think I got this, but I've, obviously I can, I can attack him both times, no matter what he does. I can attack him when he's diving, I didn't realise that earlier. Oh no, I'm far away from him there, he did the fire. Still got me though. I know he was doing electric then when I was right near him, so it is. Is it fire electric fire? Am I just not noticing he's taking it in turns? So I'm pretty sure he's doing the same in a row. Ooh, no outrunning that. Okay, so that was fire, so it should be electric next. It's electric next. I'm gonna get out of the way though before. Fire next. Well, I'm safe here, aren't I? Oh my goodness, this dragon's nearly dead. I did it! Oh, that was quick. Okay, so that's uh, nearly two hours. I'm gonna quit the game here. I'll just show you what happens afterwards. Dragon's head came off there. Volvalgia had that as well, just the dragon head just landed next to Link at the end. Okay, next checkpoint. We'll leave this far and I'll show you off my other one.
Oh yeah, I remember this bit. I couldn't remember what I did though. Did I just keep climbing up until something happened? I don't often pay attention to stories in games. <laughs> don't know if you could tell. Oh, yes, yeah, so I've just got to keep hitting this. I remember I didn't work out that because it keeps shooting out these ninjas. I thought you have to, you do have to kill all the ninjas, but just keep attacking the crystals. I was doing one at a time. Just just, just quick, just keep hitting the crystal until it destroys them. And then just take out the ninjas after. It's like about six ninjas out at the end. Uh, um. I'll have to do that. I didn't go well. So anyway, that's the game. Um, <laughs> I'll just show you where I am on the actual file now. Uh, this one here. So this is where I am here. So go this way. Just try and remind myself. So I'll show you the dash move. You can double tap to dash, then do that. And that's a nice little move there. You can double jump now, which is really cool. Um, I can parry and then I get another attack projectile at me. I don't mean you can, can you parry you can't parry those, it has to be sort of like So so you see see how more fluid the movement is now. I've got I can charge up my sword to do that. So that's like Um so that's the wall slide fun. Then it became a charge attack, then it was parrying. Um then spread. That's basically all the fun you get afterwards. So I'll see if I can make any pros. See if I make it to the next checkpoint. I'll, I'll play for another sort of 10 minutes or so. Okay, so here's jump. I, I slid down the wall. I didn't mean to do that. Slice for enemies with that as well. It's like now you're just fit, you're feeling really like a ninja now. Something. Um, that didn't work. Okay. Um, use an item. Okay, so there's new items as well that I haven't shown. It. So what this thing does here is it gives me my SP. What? What is it called? The spirit. Okay, makes sense. So it, gradually, it's giving me an extra spirit. Points, I'm guessing we're calling them. Nope. It's when you get too carried away with it. But at least I get them, so he's just giving me my spirits back.
Oh. Oh, that's some health. Cool. I think I got past that one before. Ooh, what to do here? Jump like that. Oh, oh no, I did get this far. I remember going down here. Oh, come on. Alright, still get going with this. Let's try and get... Oh, I did the wrong move. Destroyed a lot of things there. Oh, it's health in there, isn't there? Doesn't matter wasting those, I'm going to get them back. Okay. So uh, normal double jumps will do it. Cool. Okay, and I've worked out how to defeat this thing. Go when his shield's up, then just go on top of him like this. Like that. Jump. Oh. Did I have low health last time, or are these things one hit kill? Oh, a spike's up there. I'll do that then. <laughs> oh, I don't have the infinite special anymore. Wait for them to go, be patient. I don't think I got this far before. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I got this far. Uh, I don't care what's in that crate. Not worth it at the minute. Ooh. Oh my goodness me. Those are one hit kill, but oh no, what is going on here? Look at all this. My goodness. I've got to try and um, keep uh, my special thing here. Spirit. So I can just throw projectiles at those things. Got taken one hit point from it already. Oh. 
cool. Oh no. Take you out. Ah, okay, I'm gonna end the stream here. It's been over two hours now. Um but yes, that's just for how hard it can get. I will continue playing this. I, once I've beaten it, I'll do my review. And so, yeah, so thanks for checking out, everyone. And so, if you want to see more from this, this is sort of like a Tuesdays and some Thursdays. I'm sort of doing a Breaking My Backlog series on here. So, if you want to keep up with me trying to break my backlog, um, to get rid of the games, well, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, then Saturdays I play a retro game, Sundays I, we do Sony Sundays, we're playing through Uncharted at the minute. And there's obviously lots of videos like reviews, top tens and so forth, uh, and speculating about Nintendo news, that's what we do here. So make sure you hit that subscribe if you want to keep up to date with us, and uh, yep, see you in the next one everyone. Bye everyone.